welcome back to Accounting Simplified. We are moving through Chapter 7 right now. We are looking at 7172, Find the Errors. Let's take a look. Again, we're not going to give you the answers, but we're going to put you in the right direction. So for this first transaction here, you can kind of see, assuming that all the green stuff is correct and all the green is right, um, where did this person make the errors? Well, they made the errors a couple places over here. First of all, you can see up here they didn't give their percentage of sales. So this, your sales number right here is going to be your denominator, and then that will always be 100%. Down here, you notice down here, they didn't total up, they didn't total, up total expenses or, or net income, so that also gave them kind of a little bit of an issue there. So they got to total those up, so you're going to add up all the expenses here, and that's going to go down here for your total expenses. Your revenue minus your total expenses will give you your net income, or loss, depends, it could be loss. Also, your total sales. So this will be your top number. This will be your bottom number. So this is your numerator divided by your denominator. That percentage to the nearest tenth goes here. This will be your, your numerator. This will be your denominator. Nearest tenth will go there. Okay. You can see here again, same thing. They didn't total them up over here. They also didn't put the totals, and they didn't put the, the total amount, and they didn't put the totals, and they didn't put net income or loss. And the also didn't do the percentages over here. This one is a little bit interesting. So this one, why are they getting red cells? Well, the reason they're getting red cells is because if you look up here, if you look up right over here to our cash, our cash shorter over, we have got advertising expense and cash shorter over. Look at down here. They don't have that cash shorter over on there. They left that out. That's why these are getting red. Remember, cash shorter over technically could be a expense. More times than not, it's an expense. Um, it also technically could be revenue, but it needs to be listed on that income statement. So since that person forgot it, that's why these are all red. But notice they did do a nice job over here with the percentages and all that type of stuff that goes on to it. Again, same thing here. Don't have net income or loss. Didn't total it up down here and didn't have the percentage on that one. So if we look at 7272 7 deals with the balance sheets. Um, balance sheets, again, this all is good over here. This over here, my, my liabilities are good. One thing they didn't do is they didn't add up our total liabilities and owner's equity and put it here. And remember, this number here is going to need to equal this number here. So make sure that you do do that when you have when you do calculate that. Same thing here, they added them up, their number is equal, but they didn't put total liabilities and owner's equity here, and they didn't put total assets over here. And that's why they had that one wrong. This one, uh, why are these turning red? Well, these are turning red because this, the individual here just used the capital number from the trial balance. So they just used the capital number from the trial balance. Remember, the capital number is the capital number from the, from the balance sheet minus drawing plus net income if there's a net income. If there's no net income, it's capital minus drawing minus net loss. And that's going to give you this number down here for our 22.79. Okay, next one kind of coming down here. Again, what did they do? They did everything right up here. They actually, it's a really good looking balance sheet. Down here, they didn't put total assets and didn't put the amounts. They didn't add up this column. Also down here, owner's equity, they didn't put total owner's equity and liabilities. And they need to add up this column. Remember, this number here needs to equal this number here. Again, same thing. They did a nice job. They actually totaled up. Now they just forgot total liabilities right here and the amount that's there. They actually added it up. Their, their, total, their total assets over here does equal their total liabilities plus owner's equity, but they just didn't put their total liabilities and didn't put that amount right there. That's it. Hope this helps. Again, remember, income statement, revenue minus expenses, easier way to think of it on the income, on the uh, worksheet. Anything on income summary and below means income statement. The accounting equation must always balance asset equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Since it must always balance, assets, liabilities, and owner's equity are what go on the balance sheets. Hope this helps. Best of luck. Take care.